Hello everybody, my name is Provis and welcome back to Dawn of Man in Dawn Vault, the Ancient Warrior scenario on Hardcore Difficulty. Right in the middle of a blizzard, of course, but the entire town is nicely walled off. We have successfully fended off several major raids, including one very recently, and we are prospering nicely. So, it is time to start going for the kill on this scenario. What do we have as far as uh, remaining milestones? We need guard towers. Okay, that means we need to get the iron working tech. Sword mastery means we need to get the steel tech. And then a matter of just getting 150 people in the settlement, and that's it. So we're not that far off from getting iron smelting, and then we're just a couple of techs away, and then it's just a matter of building up as much prestige as possible. That might mean building a lot of excess buildings just for the sake of prestige. It might mean some really long megalith trips for megalithism, or, of course, just sitting back and waiting until we kill enough raiders so we get enough prestige, we get up to 150 population. All of those things are possible. We can do this, I think, in the next couple of videos. First things first, though, iron smelting. Gotta get that first. Let's see, there are a couple of quick things we could do that would get me a little bit more knowledge. Some more hunting trips for, let's say, some Ibex and some Mouflon would do the job just fine. Also build out a simple well, another pit furnace, another metal smith stables, and another stone stables. Yeah, these are all very easy things to do. It's not quite enough to get me where I need to be, but at least it makes some progress. We're sitting at 29 knowledge now. Five more is all that I need. I don't know, maybe we can actually make this work. Hang on. Actually, yeah, I think we are going to be able to get that. I was able to hunt down a couple more Ibex. Let's go ahead and recycle the stuff I just finished building, because I don't actually need another metal smith. We're going to be moving over to blacksmiths pretty soon, which is more important. I will keep this well, though, and I will keep this stone stables, because I might as well do so. And just like that, we've got 34 knowledge, which means I can move on to the Iron Age. Iron smelting power! Okay, so now we need to get some iron mines, deep iron mines, and some bloomeries so we can start smelting down the iron, plus a blacksmith in order to actually make any of those tools. Okay, now it's not going to be a tier advantage, so I'm not going to see my productivity really upgrade uh, from this, right? Uh, iron tools are going to be just as good as the bronze tools I have been making, but they should be relatively easy for me to manufacture at least. So let's go ahead and place down... Quick little iron mine right there. Uh, we might want to get a second one. One over here? Maybe. Debating... I can't remember. Can you actually build deep iron mines on the mines after they've already been exhausted? Is that a thing you can do? I do not remember. So I'm a little concerned about possibly exhausting a source that's too close and regretting that decision later. Well, regardless, we're gonna go ahead and place down two of those iron mines. And this little production area is about to see a major boost. So I'll wait until we actually start gathering up some materials, but I'll go ahead and start removing a couple pit furnaces, because smelting bronze is simply not going to be that important going forward. But we will want to make room for some more bloomeries and some blacksmiths. Ah, and four more people join the settlement. Excellent. That means we're getting good prestige. So now we're up to a population of 78. I'm rebuilding some homes that'll go back up to about 80 summit, 81 maybe. So that's going to end up being just fine. Now, one good way of farming out for some prestige for relatively cheap, if we want to later, will be to start building, uh, not funerary, is it our spiritual? Yes, banners. Now, that does take some iron, so it's a little expensive, but not nearly as difficult to get as those megaliths. So this is one good way of getting a fair bit of uh, prestige pretty quickly, as long as we can get our iron industry up and running. And frankly, I don't think that's going to be too hard. Again, these mountains have a reasonable amount of iron in them, shockingly. So I, I think we're going to be fine on that for the entire game. It's just a matter of actually getting good production time, which is a lot easier now that the trader is going to be bringing in iron ore, and it costs the same amount as tin and copper ore. So, like, this is really stinking cheap for me. One ba bad thing is, unfortunately, all of my copper weapons are now pretty much worthless. The good news is I was able to offload almost all of them before it became a problem, so we're okay on that front. Oh, also the bows are worthless now. All right, I'll go ahead and start selling those off just to clear out some inventory space, if nothing else. Okay, there's our first blacksmith. We will, of course, be trying to make as many iron tools as I can, not just because we want more tools that are easier to manufacture than bronze, but also because we need knowledge points. And the sooner I can get to steel, the better, because steel is such a huge upgrade to my production levels. Oh, I can finally start buying some technology again. Baking tech, huh? Not that it's unbelievably useful to me, but it's not a bad idea, since uh, we are going to be making more and more bread for the rest of the game. Hunting is going to be something we rely less and less on the larger the population gets. We're actually already starting to run lower on things like meat and fish, though we're still doing pretty well in terms of grain. So making bread faster wouldn't be bad. 
Of course, it would be an average commission, not low, but I can live with that. So, what do we want to sell, then? Well, maybe a few excess bronze spears. Don't need some of those. Maybe some bronze axes. And, of course, fishing rods. There's a reason we make so many of them. They are easy to make, and they have pretty darn good trade value. Let's also go ahead and just get rid of a bunch of... I don't know. Let's get rid of a whole bunch of bones or something, too. That should be fine. Okay, cool. So, we'll buy some tech. Then, I'm going to go ahead and just buy out some more of the iron ore, because I feel like I might as well. And we'll sell off another, I don't know, let's say another bronze spear and a couple of flint. Perfect. All right, so we have some more tech. Nice. Not the tech I really need, but it's good. So we can build an oven now, which is a replacement for the hearth right over here, which I don't usually get rid of my hearths because it's a nice little social gathering spot, if nothing else. But an oven lets you build, uh, sorry, bake bread, I think, like three times the rate or something along those lines. So we'll go ahead and build them, if for nothing else, then because, eh, it's a little bit of knowledge, right? I am a little suspicious, though. It's been a little over a year and still no sign of a raid. Uh, wait! Yep, those are people. There we are. Okay, what do we got? Um, lots of armor. Still copper, and are those flint tools? No, those can't be iron, can they? Oh, wait, I see some bronze weaponry in here. Did they actually start skipping bronze and start incorporating iron? I think they did. Ah! Maybe they have bronze all along and I've just been wrong this entire time. Well, that's a bit scarier all of a sudden. It's time to go ahead and ring the bell. Everyone gather up those weapons, if and ya please. Uh, the gathering point is already where I want it. I have eight towers at each location now, which should be good. We have plenty of notice to get our guys set up. So we're going to be just fine. Let's go ahead and close up this gate preemptively. And get ready for our next big fight. Um, that's a lot. That is a lot of raiders, I'm not going to lie. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Okay, it's going to be a real test. Uh, this is where we need to be getting the reinforced buildings, like better guard towers, better gates, in order to survive against stuff like this going forward. We are going to need it. Still, for the moment, I think this will be all right. So let's see what's going to happen. They're going to first begin attacking at the gates. They have arrived. We haven't taken a shot yet. Now they're going to charge. All right, so they're going to start working on those gates, and they are now running around this way. Let's go ahead and get this closed. They are not running off this direction, interestingly. Okay. Uh, we're going to be taking a few pot shots at them. I'm just going to go ahead and close all gates now. Going. Oh, no, 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 no. I hit the open button. Hit the open button. That's not what I meant to do. Let's close them now. Ha, 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 ha. Yes, that was stupid. Okay, I closed the gates. In Sorry, open the gates instead of close them. That was stupid. We've lost a dog and a person so far. Um, weirdly enough, I, I don't seem to have been punished for my transgressions. It broke down this gate, and that was it. Oh, wow! So even though I accidentally opened the gates like a traitor, we took only one loss. Wow! Okay, great. Did we lose any towers? Still got five over here. Sorry, uh, eight. Still got eight over here. I think we lost two gates, and that's it. Oh, wow. Yeah, no. As far as raiders go, uh, that was completely fine. Oh, good. We finished building some ovens, too. Okay, you can see here that two flour turn into four bread in one work cycle, which is faster than the hearth, which does one grain into two bread. So, it's the exact same cost. It's not like it's more efficient, but it does get more done per work cycle, which just basically means everything's faster. That's it. It would be kind of cool to build up my own stone circle. I still don't have any of these. I don't think they're necessarily that much better than the statues, and they cost a heck of a lot more, but they're worth a lot of prestige, and lots of people are able to worship at the same time, so it would be kind of cool to place down at least one of those if we can find the megaliths. Now, to be fair, what I could do is start tearing down the men heaters that I've already built over here, but there's a chance that the stone is lost entirely. So, we might get lucky and regain, let's say, the three stones that I've set up, or we're just gonna lose them all. And that would suck. Reinforced shield tech is also available for sale. Okay, I will see if I can buy some of that. Uh, let's get rid of some more of these fishing rods, a good number of them. Let's start selling off some more of the spears, and maybe a few of these bronze knives. And that would do the job, okay. Leather armor apparently is worth a fair bit. You've also got some horses. Don't really think I care about that. And I don't need tin anymore, but I'll happily take the iron simply because it saves me a lot of mining time. Oh, good. Well, that actually saves me 16 knowledge points now because tech has gotten a bit more expensive. So we are able to move on and save 16 points. That's pretty great. I need 27 for steel making, unfortunately. Very, very expensive. And it would be nice to have these reinforced fortifications. But so far, honestly, we're doing just fine in defense. I really want to save up for that steel making. That's gonna be a game changer for us. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure that the bloomery is listed as a high priority so we will continue manufacturing new tools. 
And let's go to the armorer and see what's involved. So we need to use iron in order to make better shields, which have twice the blocking power of a regular shield. Okay, so if I ever find myself with an excess of iron bars, that would be great to do. Until we get there, though, I don't think that's going to be a priority. At least not for a little bit longer. Complex megalithism we can buy now. Gosh, that's actually three trades in a row that somebody has come by. I mean, we might as well. I think I've got the tools I need, so let's go ahead and sell off some more of these fishing rods. Also some more bronze spears. Some bronze axes, again, just prompting people to go ahead and start making some iron instead. Uh, let's see, that actually was a little bit of an excess. Um, let's just go ahead and buy out some of your stone, too. I don't know. It saves me a tiny little bit of time. There we go. All right, and it's a low commission, which actually means we're going to get better value than usual. Complex megalithism is kind of fun, in the sense that now we can build a cairn. Cairns are really good. They are funerary structures, but they cost an absolute ton of men here's. The only downside to this is I am not convinced that uh, enough megaliths even exist on the map to do something like this. But man, they would be nice to build, wouldn't they? A couple more copper mines have been exhausted. Alright, I'm not even going to bother trying to replace any of those, though. I don't think it's going to matter, as long as we can successfully transition into iron. Which so far has been zero problem up to this point, uh, especially if we can keep just buying more stock like this. I mean, good lord, it's great. Uh, sure, I'll go ahead and buy out some tan, and I think that'll be fine, and we'll just continue offloading what? Uh, how about some bronze knives or something? I don't really care that much. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Just whatever you can afford. Just give it to me. So close to having enough knowledge. We could build our first banner. That's not a bad idea. Plus one more stable. And that actually should be enough to get me over to the steel. So let's go to storage. We're going to build down up a... Oh, sorry, no. Residence. There we go. A regular stable just so we can tear down later. And let's also go to spiritual and place down our first banner to show who's boss. Of course, that does take a little bit of iron and some linen, but that's A-OK -okay with me. As long as we can get that steel up and running. There we go. Our first banner goes up pretty quick. It's only worth two prestige. I know. So it's not worth an absolute ton. A simple men here is better. But considering how cheap they are and how I don't have to rely on getting, you know, a dang megalith all the way over here. Pretty worthwhile, I think. Pretty worthwhile. Almost done with this stable. Just like so, which we can now immediately recycle because we don't need it. That's 27 knowledge. We can unlock steel making. Done. Okay. And a trader arrives. Great timing there. So, the bloomery, we do want to manufacture iron up to my cap, but beyond that, it's all about the steel. You can see it's the exact same cost, but steel is better in every meaningful way. I'm going to go ahead and continue manufacturing some iron tools for at least a moment. Uh, why did I just get an achievement called Siege Overcome, by the way? Are we under attack again? I don't think we are. I have no idea. Anyway, once we start making steel, though, that is going to be the true tier upgrade. Iron Spear, Hunting 3 to Hunting 4, Fighting goes up as well. Like, this is amazing. Best possible stats in the game. In the meantime, I've also upgraded all of the walls to stone, so there are no more wooden walls to worry about, which means the only way that I can be improving my defenses is adding on another layer of stone walls everywhere, which is a bit expensive and probably not necessary. And most importantly, upgrading the gates and the guard towers. Now for that, we need to get to the Reinforced Fortifications tech, which is probably what I'm going to do next. I mean, it's pretty darn good. The alternative being Staddle Stones for Staddle Granaries, but I don't think we need that. I think Reinforced Fortifications makes the most sense. With a Reinforced Gate, I am pretty confident that any amount of Raiders, well, not any amount, but most Raider groups, will be having a hard time punching through two levels of Gates, let alone one. I mean, you've seen how effective we are with just one regular Gate. Imagine a Reinforced one with extra hit points, and imagine two of them. You'd need huge onslaughts of Raiders. I don't think that they have that. And Raiders, crud, okay, hang on, just after a blizzard. Right, okay. Um, you know, that doesn't look like as big of a group as I think I was expecting, honestly. That doesn't look insurmountable. I think that's going to be just fine. You, old woman, Marna, really need to get a move on. You need to get a move on as well. Get into some freaking warm buildings before you all die, and I'll close the gate up behind you. And you know what, I'll go ahead and preemptively close this too, that the rally points are all in the right spot anyway, so I don't think I'm really worried. Let's make sure we don't open the gates this time like an idiot, because that wouldn't make sense. Oh, someone joined! Great timing! Grab an axe and get to the front lines, folks! And here they come. All right, so they are splitting off to go over here, which is just fine. None splitting off in this direction, which is interesting. I'm going to go ahead and probably close all of the gates now to be safe. Some are running off in the hills. I still don't understand why they do this. I really, really don't. Did you destroy one of my walls? How dare you? 
That was such an unnecessary thing to do. Look at him just stand here, too. He has no idea what to do with himself. Yeah, okay, so now we're just gonna keep picking them off. They're not even attacking! Wait, what's going on? What do you mean, yay, to ta Oh, I'm so sorry. Did you want to come inside? Because I can probably arrange this uh, before this old lady dies. Quickly, save the adult woman. Get inside. Okay, that'll be fine. Um, actually, go somewhere warm. That'll work better. Yeah, okay. Where are they? They just keep running in circles. Look at this guy running. It's like, oh, no, I've made a horrible mistake. I don't know what's going on. It seems like people are just being stupid. What is going on with this AI? I see there's a raider over here. What are you doing? You running for the hills? He seems to be running for the hills. I think we're fine, but I can't tell because the music's still going, and I'm apprehensive every time the music is still going. I'm just going to say we're fine. I'm going to say we're fine, let's open up the gates, and let's just get back about our lives, because we're wasting valuable production time on some loser who won't stand and fight. The music is still going. Seriously, what is wrong? What am I missing here? I am really worried about that. I can't decide if it's just going to keep going until they leave the map or what. I mean, no, they're still... Okay, no, there are still raiders. They're just going back and forth. All right, small child. Go back inside. Hang on. Um, we need to find some people capable of fighting. You guys will do fine. Why don't you guys get over here and just kill these idiots who just keep pathing back and forth? Because they obviously don't know what they're doing, and they're just going to keep harassing me until the death. Oh, he ran away. A, a small child walked after him. He's like, oh, frick this, and he just ran for it. Never mind, we're fine. Okay, thank you. Deep mining, another technology we can just go ahead and buy. I don't see why not. I mean, if we've got some tools available, I say we just do it. Trade off some of those fishing rods. Get rid of the rest of some of these bronze tools. We don't need them anymore. I want them all replaced with some better stuff, especially steel. At least in a little bit. And, uh, yeah, I'll just go ahead and toss on an iron ore there as well. Okay, perfect. Um, we should probably go ahead and stop manufacturing bronze in general. And we should stop manufacturing iron in favor of steel, because now I'm actually producing steel. So we might as well do this, and I will manually decide to create iron tools for the sake of knowledge later if I so desire. But if we're going to be getting rid of tools and we're making new ones, let's make sure we keep making the better stuff. Let's also upgrade to a blacksmith and another bloomery, because from here on out, I don't think we are ever going to be making bronze again. One problem I am having, though, is we are constantly running out of, out of some other basic materials. We are running low on leathers, and it's not enough to continue repairing everything that we need. We are running out of logs, weirdly enough. I can go ahead and manually direct some of these guys to be chopped down, but that's a little bit bizarre. Uh, and actually, we were running a bit low on straw. This year wasn't as bad as previously, but I actually got down to about 18 last year, I think. So... We need to make sure that we continue expanding out our planting to make sure we are keeping up with the population. Hello, Oryx. Ran in the middle of nowhere there, did ya? Um, as long as we keep doing that, we're gonna be okay. Uh, I think we're doing fine as far as, like, iron and stuff. We really do not need this much tin. What's my limits? Okay, so no one's gonna be mining up any copper or tin or anything. So that's fine. As far as steel, we'll go ahead and set that up to 20 units to make sure we always have a good stockpile sitting around ready to go. And as far as knowledge, unfortunately, I don't think there are going to be very many uh, easy ways of getting more knowledge aside from spiritual buildings, which obviously I can't really do. It's just not going to end up being an option. We can build out a couple more warehouses, sure, we can build out some more banners and another bloomery, but that's kind of it. So from here on out, I think we're going to have to just rely on the natural gathering of knowledge, just from making resources and occasionally finding something new. And from buying it from our vendors, which is fine with me. As long as we keep making enough tools, we should be able to do that. It's just going to take some time. But we have time anyway, because I need to get my population up to 150. That's going to be the real test. It's not easy to get your population that high and keep it sustained. But I will try my darndest. In the meantime, though, I think this might be a good place for us to end this. I have no idea how long this video has been. I imagine they're going to be getting shorter from here on out as I do more jump cuts because we've already seen most of what I'm going to do. But we will finish strong soon this week, maybe even in the next video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would humbly ask that you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. <laughs>